Hey everybody, it's Jack from Furrycraft. This is going to be a little um, mini series, I suppose you can call it. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of things that maybe we want to elaborate on, maybe questions that we haven't had the answers to, and uh, come up with our own general theories and consensus, and possibly some answers if we can. This first one's going to be of my favorite X Men character, favorite mutant of all time, Wolverine, or Logan, or James Howlett, whatever you want to call him, or the delightful Hugh Jackman. Now, this is a question which has intrigued me for a long time. Me and Ben, we were discussing this the other day. And because of this quarantine, we're having to do videos like this. So, might as well make the most of the time we got while we're not busy. So, this is going to be all about Wolverine and how exactly he controls his claws. Anything happen? Ben, can you edit this in? Oh, never mind. So how do we start this video? Well, there's not really a heck of a lot to go on. We've got some educated guesses when we go a few foods, but there's no definitive answer to, as to how Wolverine controls his claws. But we have a few little ideas, so let's go through them now. So starting off with the human body, we need to look about how the human body works, and specifically the arms. As you can see in a few diagrams which I have by the side of me, when you have the bones, you have the bones in your arms, your hands, throughout your entire body, and you have the muscles which also connect to certain parts of the bone, like I think it's your pec to your shoulder, I'm not a doctor, and you have tendons which attach to your fingers which lead to different parts of the body such as um, attaching to the bones and so on as well as the muscles. So that's how it works, that's how you're able to do all these bending actions. And hence the reason why sometimes you get tear muscles, especially if you're playing a lot of sports. So that's generally the consensus of how it works. Now, when you look into Wolverine's mutation, I feel the best reference that we've got to go on is to look at the x-rays from the original X-Men film. And also a few from promotional material. As you see, there you got the bones, which are in Wolverine's arm. And you also got the, you very got the legendary three claws, which come out of his knuckles. Now, they always seem to stop at a certain point, so they must pop out about, let's say, about 30 centimeters or so. So when they pop out and he's able to retract them and heal himself back up because of his healing factor. But how is he exactly able to do this? Well, I have my own kind of educated theory and from my own research, so I'm going to go through that. So if you take his mutation and what happened to him during the Weapon X program, that his body was um, injected with adamantium and his bones were coated in adamantium. So they haven't replaced his bones, but they are coated. And also the same for the bone claws as well, even though the bone claws were snapped off in um, Origins of Wolverine, but we're not going to go into that here. But anyway, they're coated in, adam in adamantium, and he's able to shoot out the claws at will and control individual ones if he wants to, do them at certain speeds and lengths, and so on, as you've seen throughout the, inter throughout the entire saga of the films. But how is he able to do this exactly? Well, my theory is that he's able to do it through his fall, but also having to do it through fall or impulse, or maybe think about it, but specifically maybe if you're in Berserker Rage, with Wolverine in Berserker Rage, like would he be able to think that clearly when he's in that animalistic state, when he's chopping off heads, limbs, and stabbing people to death? Don't know. But when you say what I said earlier, where you have bone, when you have muscles and tendons which attach to bone, now, surely this must go for um, the claws. Like, would he have maybe would he have maybe ligaments and tendons on the backs, possibly, of his claws? Maybe, you know, because when you have the adamantium process, which is injected into him, should, so the adamantium should coat the tendons and everything as well. So, if they're going to be more attached to his skeleton, how are they actually how are they actually able to pop out? Well, obviously, when you go back and you look very closely at the x-rays, it appears that they have some kind of a bracket or some kind of device on the ends of the claws which stops them from coming out um, any more than they should, as they are not an actual part of his body. So, when the claws pop out, uh, pop out, then they must stop round about here, I'm guessing, or stop round about here, because we've seen throughout multiple shots in, um, such as I'll take the Wolverine for example in Japan when he's on the top of the train and you see him able to bend his wrist whilst having the claws extended so you can assume this little device must stop about here if there is a device at all or if maybe they're attached with ligaments possibly so 
that goes into the whole, if his body's covered in adamantium, where do the tendons and the muscles connect to exactly? Well, I can't answer that as there is not a clear answer. So is there gonna be the whole consensus and the idea that the ligaments and the bones and the tendons and so on, that they're all kind of interlaced with adamantium as well? How are they able to attach to his skeleton? I know it's a really in-depth, maybe a possibly complicated question, but it's just something to think about. So if you got all those, like I said, if you got all those muscles, tendons, which attach to bone, and he has the adamantium injected and coated onto his bones, will his tendons still work? Are they still connected somehow? Or are his tendons and muscles turned into adamantium as well? Don't know. But anyway, that's just the educated guess. Now, if we're gonna look into the prospect of him controlling the claws through four, it could be a very much a more easily, simply explained method for how he's able to um, eject the claws, how he's able to um, control each individual one, whether it's through maybe think, maybe it's the signals going from the brain to the claws, to the hands, sorry, and he's able to control through muscles what he wants to use, when, and what speed, or is it a thought process as well? It's a really interesting question. But that's my idea, and that's how I think Wolverine controls his claws. But do you disagree? Or if so, tell me about it in the comments, and tell me about your own theories. Is there anything that I could have missed? Then please let me know, because we're always still learning as well. So drop them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Theorycraft. Bye!